All right, guys, this is going to be a quick little tutorial on how to um, make hair uh, in Blender. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, my sort of workflow for hair has gotten a lot quicker since I uh, discovered this method. But yeah, let's uh, let's just go through it um, really fast. Make a simple little uh, maybe like side soup or something. Um, yeah, OK, so um, I like to have uh, a little base to work off of. Just gonna use my puppy for now. I'm gonna add a curve, a Bezier curve here. Okay, and we're gonna be using the Bezier curves to sort of create uh, like the sort of shape that we want. So uh, I'm gonna press two to go into edit mode. I'm gonna do Control A. Actually, let me turn on screencast keys. Let me turn it on. Let me turn it on. Okay, cool. So we are going to, I'm going to move myself actually. All right. So you can see a little better. And um, all right. So we're in edit mode. Um, first thing I'm going to do is come over here. Let's make this a little bigger so I can see. Um, and then in this geometry tab here where it says, um, actually, never mind the bevel, uh, where it says depth, I'm just going to give it a little bit of depth here. And um, the important thing to know is that it's going to start off pretty high poly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump the resolution down to three. And then up here where it says resolution preview, I'm going to bump this down to three as well. So um, when we go into wireframe mode, uh, we'll sort of like see that that is a lot more low poly. And that is better to work with in... Um, a game engine such as Unity, especially if we're going to be putting it into VR chat or something like that. So we want to we want to keep it as low poly as possible, and that's just uh, the the quickest way. So you see, if I um, increase this, you can see that the there um, there's more edges. So I just like to keep it as low as possible. Three is a good number. Um, you can you can do a little bit higher, but um, you have to remember that we're going to be duplicating this a few times, so uh, all the polygons are going to add up. All right, so back here. All right, back here. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just move it up here and rotate it. And we're going to scale this baby down like so, and then I'm going to press U to um, sort of scale the width. And that, that hockey for me is U. Um, it's uh, this, this guy here, Radius. And it, it'll, it'll tell you the shortcut uh, for you, but for me it's U. So I'm pressing U again to sort of scale this like so. Uh, one also, another thing I w want to do here is... Uh, right click and subdivide it so that we have three points here that we can work with. So let's just move it into position here. All right. So at this point, we can click on these individual handles and sort of like move them around, rotate them, scale them. You, you sort of have to get like a, a feel for it uh, in the beginning. What I like to do is I like to scale this uh, first one up uh, using the radius here. I scale this up and I scale the tip down into this sort of shape. I don't like to scale it all the way down. I like to keep it open-ended like that. And um, once we convert it into an actual mesh, I'll clean that up and um, close it up. Yeah, um, at this point, it's sort of just like moving and positioning it into a shape that you like. So I don't really have a reference for what I want to be doing here. So I'm just going to freestyle this. All right, what if I want it a little bit bigger, though? And maybe I want to tip this up a little bit like that. 
make sure you're checking against like all of the all of the views so that it looks good from the side and from the front, whatever. Uh, so then I'm gonna just um, highlight all of these and Control D to duplicate this so we get another strand here. It kind of gets a little unruly after you have a few strands because they're not really labeled. Um, yeah, this is this is the entire process, and after I do a couple more here, I'm just gonna convert it into a mesh and I'm going to show you how to clean it up. Maybe I'll make this strand a little smaller, a little thinner here. It's perfectly fine. I, I Actually, that's not the right one. I think it's uh, this one. Yeah. Bring this one off to the side here. Let's bring this up here. Sort of like this. Maybe it sort of curves. And you can you can also add uh, more subdivisions if you like want a bit more um, uh, real estate here. So if the curve isn't as smooth as you want it to be, you can subdivide between any two points and that'll it'll give you a little bit more geometry. I would just be careful about this um, because it will your polygons will will start adding up. But OK, we have a little bit of a hair here. Um, if I was going to do this for real, I would probably put a little bit more time into it, probably put more strands here and like a couple strands um, in the back here. But uh, for this tutorial, I think this is fine. So I'm um, pressing 4 to go back into object mode. I'm going to select the Bezier curve here. Um, and then I'm going to go into object and convert into a mesh. And that is going to be a mesh now called a Bezier curve. So we can rename this here example. And if we go uh, into wireframe mode again, we can see that it's pretty low poly. And this is perfect for uh, a game engine. And you can, you can see that there's more, um, there's more edge loops in the one strand that we subdivided again. So just keep that in mind when you're creating your uh, hair. Yeah, so what we want to do now is we're going to press 2 to go into edge mode. And I'm going to add an edge loop at the tip of all of these strands here. And then I'm going to press 1 to go into vertex mode. And I'm going to select all of these vertexes. And I'm going to merge the vertices at the center. I'm going to do that for all of these. Just to close up this gap here. Yeah, all right, and that's done. Um, so if we go back into our object mode, we can see that the hair is closed up. And it's pretty sharp, though, and I personally, I don't like that. So what I like to do is I like to take um, that edge, turn on soft, uh, soft select, and um, I just like to bump it in, bump in that point so that it's a lot more subtle here. So that it sort of comes to a softer, rounder point. If you like that, uh, the point, that's perfectly fine. This is just a personal preference. And then maybe I'll take this um, last edge loop and sort of bring it, bring it down, scale it down like that, just to make that uh, um, that drop off sort of more subtle. And turn off soft select here. Oh, a couple of these are off center, which isn't not a huge deal, but okay. So we have our hair, and that's pretty much how I make hair like pretty fast. I did that in under ten minutes. Um, so we can just add a couple of um 
edges i like to add them at the bottom here or where um the edge loop is hidden um right click mark seam and let's go to uv editor here Control a to select them all uv unwrap and we have uh your hair unwrapped and ready to go i mean you can pack these a little bit nicer but you know um but that's that's all there is to making hair um and then after that it's basically just um you know rigging it so that uh fizz bones or dynamic bones or whatever works nicely um but yeah that's that's it for hair so i hope um you guys found this uh helpful there are a couple of like more advanced steps um that we could do to make this hair a bit more uh, high poly i'm so sorry about the, the cars oh my god sorry if you could hear that um as i was saying there are a couple of things that we could do to make the hair a bit more detailed um with uh the bezier curve but i'll probably leave that for another tutorial at some other point ah coffee um yeah that is a short tutorial on how to make hair in blender and i hope that was helpful to you guys so bye